was reading my book on my nook I'm like look for what I took the two categories hanging on hooks you've got chip and non-chip forming cutting techniques I get they both cut metal sheets I'm getting techie so I'm applying them to my own ventures TE open the metal cutting chapter and I started to read started to see the materials that I'm gonna need started to freak like damn that's an arduous feat but then I realized this project's about my real life I'd rather tell the truth than fail than lie about my real life I'm applying cutting techniques to make my bottle caps. I'm applying skating techniques so I can model My that. motto's back. You do what you love. If you do what you love, what you do really does make a difference. In this world, I hope you're listening. These words might be trite, but their meaning's still glistening with truth. The cutting tool is really up to you. There are myriad ways to make it just do you. If you want to use non-chip forming techniques to cut metal sheets into shape, then you're in great shape. The techniques are ample. Press form a chair and blanket punch. Punching, bending, perforating, stamping, and that's just a sample. Both blanking and punching require the removal of part of a sheet so that they can form a new hole. I'm thinking I'll use blanking to cut the scraps from my bottle caps. I'll solder scraps back to recycled bottle caps. I won't waste materials and won't waste lyrics. Frugal as peasants in the colony imperial period. I'm precariously preparing to learn the various cutting tools. Impervious to pain, but all the tools are cutting fools. Running for the hills now, running for the hills now. I would be skating down the hill. But police hold me slow down If I melt our metals from all my used bottle caps I'll reuse the metal forming all new bottle caps I swear that is the function Reduce material consumption Started from the bottom Bottles ready for production Bottles ready for consumption